All right, it's Fano here. Just got back from Berlin, Ableton Loop, great vibes. And nicely relating to Loop, I'm going to be talking about Looper, a few a few words about Looper. I read this on Beta Forum and I it kind of clicked and I thought I, I would like to share. So something about Ableton Looper. What is it good for? A few little things. Well, let's see. I got a drum loop here, two bars. Let's listen. Okay, you get a drum loop and a little bit of reverb comes in on the second bar. Because Ableton Live does not have a bounce in place function, but you could sort of uh, do that using the looper device. So what does the looper device do? It, it records the incoming audio on the track and then you'll get an audio, audio clip nicely out of this guy. So a few things to consider here. This will start the song when I hit record and uh, it, it'll record for two bars and then just play the audio that you got and I'm also going to hear the incoming audio as I do this. So I will hit record and let's see. Right on. Okay, so now I'm only hearing what's happening inside of Looper. It sounds exactly like pre-Looper stuff, but uh, now I can just uh, drag audio out of this guy and Hey, there you have it. So basically this is a nice, nice tool. And uh, yeah, so there you go. And also this relates to another fact. Let's listen, I have a, let's, yeah, I got drums and a little bit of a chord here. Let's listen. The chord is also sidechain compressed. And what you still can't do is you cannot freeze track if you have a sidechain compressor there because you get this guy. But to overcome this, Looper can be your friend. You can easily create an audio clip of a track that has a sidechain compressor by using Looper. Here we go. Now just drag it out. And now Two tracks that were MIDI are now audio. And so yeah, sidechain is happening and you have audio of it. You cannot freeze it, but you can easily record it. So maybe this is helpful to you in some ways. Let me know, holler. Oh, and by the way, I'm using Ableton Live 10. So I can just, uh, it looks a little different and you can drag an audio audio clip and it'll create an audio track for you. But basic functionality in Live 9 will be the same. Rock on.